So I felt like it was another amazing episode of Twin Peaks. I really doubt I will ever say I disliked an episode just because I love the quirkiness of the show. I love the characters. And I will say in season two, some of the episodes I found a little bit boring, but I wouldn't go so far to say like I hated those episodes or I didn't like those episodes. But there were a lot of great gems in this episode um, like there have been for this entire third season or the return or whatever they want to call it. Let's start with the big one and that was the introduction of Diane. Now I think pretty much everyone figured out that Laura Dern was going to be playing Diane and the scene was literally like a minute low, 30 seconds, I don't know. But it was cool just to finally get to meet her, to see what she looks like. She seems like an interesting character. Her fingernails were all painted different colors. Her hairstyle was very like space age-ish, very modern or futuristic, I guess. Um, so where are they going to go with her character? I have no idea, but I think that's going to be more than just, hey, this is her. Like she's going to have probably play a role in getting Coop back to Coop is what I think. And speaking of Coop, Dougie Jones, I swear to my goodness, I do not want to lose this character. I've said it before, but every time he is on TV, I die. Like Kyle McLaughlin is amazing. I laugh so hard at his interpretation of Dougie. It's just so hilarious to me. Um, I, I really can't get enough. I So when his wife discovered the photo, I guess the whatever, the people he owed money sent that photo of him with Jade, who's the prostitute, and he just repeated, Jade gives two rides, and she's like, I bet she did. Just so funny, because he has no idea what he's saying. And I loved when he was trying to work on that insurance paperwork, and he was drawing things, which probably was supposed to jog his memory about what happened in his past, because you can tell he's really reaching, he's trying to figure out what happened in his past life. And at first the boss was like so angry that he doodled on everything. And I knew this was gonna happen. I was like, he's gonna think this means something. And then he looked at it harder and he was like, oh my God, don't share this with, with anyone. Like basically thinking Dougie's like some kind of genius now. And when he tried to shake his hand, it cracked me up that Coop turned around and just like mimicked him because he had no idea what he was trying to do with him. So I, <laughs> to me, I just look forward every week to Dougie Jones, but then I look forward to what characters are we going to see from the past and what roles will they play? Now, the crazy thing about this episode, as funny as parts were, it was devastating in other parts because we had two very graphic scenes. We'll start with the lesser of the two, which was bad enough. We have this little person going around stabbing people. He had a hit list of this woman. Remind me of who she is. I definitely recognized her from this season, but I can't remember her name. And then Dougie Jones, so he's going to come after him um, with his this crazy tool that he's stabbing people with and that was brutal because he also stabbed like one of her co-workers and it was just a brutal brutal scene I mean any kind of stabbing is never good especially when they go there and show you everything but then the most disturbing scene was when Richard who we still don't know what's up with Richard who's who does who are his parents or at least who is his mom who's his dad what's up with that his last name is Horn so is he related to Audrey um, as far as being her son? Is he Richard Horn's son? Is he not even that closely related? Do you have any thoughts about who he could be? He's very a very bad guy. He's in a lot of trouble and he hit and he hits and kills a kid. Now I don't think he set out to do that or purposely did it, but he doesn't seem to feel remorseful. He left the scene. He's trying to clean the blood off of his truck. And you remember the woman who they focused on in the pie shop who loves the pie. Uh, she looked at him, you know, straight in the eyes. So she knows who he is and she's going to identify him and he will be punished for what he did there. Now on the other side of that, what kind of game was that weird hide and seek that mother was playing with her son? Super dangerous. I don't understand why she would allow him to play it in traffic even if they felt like it was clear and people weren't gonna, you never know what someone's gonna do. You don't just stop, you know, in the middle of the road even if you have the right of way, you know, because weird stuff happens. Sometimes people just lose control of their cars and they're not, there's no, they're no not being malicious or anything. Things just happen. So it was very graphic though, and they went there with it, and they stayed on this bloody body of the child for a long time. Um, I was, you know, of course it's very graphic. Uh, some people are saying they can't watch the show anymore. I don't feel like that. I just know that, you know, I feel like anything's on the table when we are watching this show on Showtime, anything. So I've kept my mind open as to who knows what we're going to see this season. And it's going to take a lot for me to get so offended that I quit watching. We still haven't seen Audrey. Uh, if you are on Instagram and you enjoy following actors on Instagram, 
I follow Cheryl and Finn there and she posts a lot of different things about Audrey kind of hinting at some things you might want to take a look at her account you'll know what I mean she posted these within the last week so she's even asking people herself like where is Audrey obviously she knows but I don't know and I'm very curious to see what happens with her character um, and maybe will she get back you know not really back together but will she ever get with Coop because she was too young before but she's definitely not anymore so I kind of always wanted that to happen and we saw Shelly for just a little bit and we didn't even see Bad Coop in South Dakota did we uh, you know and that's what I think is really interesting about this show because I never know what we're going to see we don't get any previews so I can't even tell you what's going to happen at all next week and I don't know who some of the characters are or when we're going to see them again like when will we see James again when will we see Bobby again I can't tell you and I love that another thing I wanted to mention is we're finally getting somewhere with Hawk finding something connected to his heritage to help find Coop. And so when he saw the Indian emblem in the bathroom, the company who made those stalls had that as their logo. And then he was tipped off to there was a screw missing in the bathroom door, the stall door. And inside of that door were pages, missing pages from Laura Palmer's diary. So apparently it has stuff about Annie in there and this is going to help get Coop back to Coop. I definitely think Coop's going to reappear in Twin Peaks, and of course, I'm excited for that, but again, I don't want to let Dougie Jones go, so they can keep this Dougie Jones storyline for as long as they want. Like, I'm okay with that. But what were your favorite parts of this episode? I'm really curious to see if anyone has any theories on Richard Horn. Who is he? Who are his parents, or at least one of his parents? Where are they going with him? What are they doing with him? What's his deal? To me, that was the biggest mystery of this episode. And does anyone, can anyone interpret the drawings that Cooper was doing on those insurance papers? Now, I'm someone with this show, I do not explore message boards, other people's videos, etc. Just because I like to, for my videos to be my own thoughts. And sometimes when I go look at those places, sometimes I'll be like, thinking did I think that or did I read that somewhere or whatever so I want to be surprised so um, if you read something or whatever that's fine you can definitely comment below but I'm just letting you know I haven't looked places but usually I get comments from you guys like I read this on a message board or people are saying this in other videos or whatever so if you want to share that info you totally can um, I really appreciate that or if you have your own thoughts about who you think Richard Horn is, any theories for this season so far, what are you thinking so far, let me know. And on the other side of that, I had someone in the live chat say they really disliked this season. So if you do, um, if you don't like it, what do you not like about it? I personally really like it, but I know we all have different opinions. If we didn't, the world would be really boring if we all loved the exact same thing. So I hope you're having a great week and I hope you can make it to one of the live chats every Monday, 5 p.m. Eastern. Info is down below. If you are a Twin Peaks fan, I will cover this show until it goes off the air. So please subscribe and stick around for all my videos and then thumbs up if you enjoy my videos and discussions on this show. So I will see you very soon. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kelly TV. I would love for you to subscribe and be a part of the Kelly TV family. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter so you can keep up with all I'm doing.